across the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Welcome back to Elden Ring. We've got a cave to explore. This is a crystal cave. So there's going to be crystals. Presumably. <laughs> And based on the location it's in, we might be finding someone we're looking for in here. Since it's a nice dark cave, I'm gonna just go ahead and get the lantern going. Always a good show. Always a good show. That guy tried to surprise me. But the real surprise was getting cut in half by me. And that guy should be paying better attention. Cave moss. Cave moss in a cave. Who would have thunk it? Alright, we're up. We're up above now. One hit and everything. Which I can work with. There might have been a way here, but it's blocked off by rocks. We could smack down all the fires, but that's not super necessary. It's got a whole big hillside here. Okay. Seems to be about as far as up as we can go here. But in the darkness, there could be anything. Just head down this way now. Oh, I got a bigger guy. One hit. Yeah, these these guys aren't being too threatening quite so, quite yet. All right, this cave. Looks like it's gonna have a lot of verticality here. We could drop down that way, presumably. But we could also go through here. Possibly we can just use that as a shortcut for later. Hey, boss. Looks like we got one of the big guys there. And a little small guy. Ow. And this is like a boss we fought before. But as a regular enemy now. I think we've also fought similar guys to these out in regular enemies. Some budding cave moss. Some string. Came down here. We got a chest down here. Okay. Well, that's definitely worth the trip. Also, we found some bugs. What do we got? The Spear Talisman. Okay. Spear Talisman. Enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Depicting a spear of a soldier. Counterattacks are unique to thrusting weapons. That's very specific. Spears are standard weapons for soldiers in the lands between. Made it possible to respond to a ferocious foe with an equally ferocious counterattack. Okay. 
Well, we have a spear type weapon. So if we wanted to use that, maybe that would combo well. I don't know if there's actually anything else down here besides that, but. Okay. Necessary item ahead. So it looks like the blood stains and messages are underneath this part of rock here. That's interesting. No other holes in the wall. Can't go up that waterfall. Alright. So I guess we're just dropping down now. That's okay. Let's see where a good spot to jump off would be. Treasure chest, and then time for jumping. Yep, there we go. We got this all figured out. Up to there, maybe? Try down. Here we go, this'll work. Make sure that we don't find any... Make sure we're not missing any ores in the walls or anything. It's more of a crystal cave than a mine. Don't think that's likely. What's the possibility? Now we're down here. Sacrifice. Yeah, that's way down there. We'll see how much further this cave goes down. Definitely go in that direction. Try target lock. What do we have here? Some kind of weird snail thing. Ah, weird magic snail thing. Not the first time we've had to deal with this magical snail. At least these ones are visible. So that helps. So we've been getting these crystals. Where, where did all these snails come from? Okay. And way down that way. Some throwing daggers. Just piles and piles of weaponry. Can't take any of those spears, obviously. A little alcove over here, which is nothing. Okay. Down this way, then. Some crystal cave moss. Very good. A lot of bloodstains here. Massive pile of magic snails. All hanging out with this guy with the golden room. Sure. Definitely want to take care of those before they start casting magic. That would be that would be problematic. Huge group of guys. Do they sneaking? Okay. Seek down. Looks like there's a ledge here with an item on it. I want to try to get that before we drop all the way down. It's definitely getting very crystally. Some soft top. Well, we don't exactly have the option of leaving, so we're going for it. Smithing stone four. Smithing stone two. And a lump of flesh. Okay. Getting very crystally now. Look at the size of these crystals. It's not called a crystal cave for nothing. Oh no. Snails. Okay. 
Three more snails. Dealt with. Tons of crystals we can't take. Unfortunate. A bloodhound knight. Ow, my body. to drink the flask that we didn't have any points left in. That did not help. nice to get our weapon buff there before we did that. Cerulean Amber Medallion. Also, it doesn't look like we were two-handing either. Alright, let's heal up. We managed, though. We got there in the end. So there's an entrance and an exit here. Okay. Nothing over here. Got the Cerulean Medallion, which raises maximum FP. That checks out. Very similar to the Crimson ones. Urtree Sap became Amber. Treasure is the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the first of the Lord. Primordial life energy resides inside. Like standing on a crystal. Always fun. Could also summon in for that. Didn't need to, though. It does not look like we have the return to entrance thing in here. So we carry on, I suppose. And we are outside. We're on, like, the lower edge here now. Interesting. And we have a bunch of stuff here. There's some people to talk to. Side of grace. Items. Awesome. Okay. I like your big wolf. My face is a wolf. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I, have no idea. I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Show the secret medallion. Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Sure. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Erd tree. 
In Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Okay. Other half of Mundalian. Got it. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Goodbye. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Interesting. She became a spirit ash. Latena the Albanoric. Sleep, wolf. I think the wolf might be dead. I like the wolf on my face. So they also have that in common. Interesting. Went the wrong way. Eshemes of which spirits yet dwell, summon Latena the Albanoric. A rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Latena was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Interesting. So, literally, a someone that literally can't move. That's, that's definitely different. It's definitely different. Slumbering Wolf's Shack. No, he's just sleeping, guys. He's just sleeping. this golden room. There we go. There's a hole over here. Yeah, you're right. A rune arc. Okay. You can see down to the southern sea here. Just the Got like a big bridge there. I think that's just the starter island. Do remember that the way that was put together? Alright, it's fine. Let's see if there's anything else down here for us to look at. Bunch of places to fall off and die. Always fun. Some rocks. There's the cave we came out from. Doesn't look like there's a huge amount more down here. That's okay. There's a lily. So that's something. I can't get back over here. We got over there from the teleport. Let us see. I guess that that might be the bridge for when you come in at the start. The opposite of the start. Yeah, it makes sense. Just making sure I remember this bridge correctly here. That should be where it is. Travel. There's a lot of places to remember. 
And we are. We are not done by any stretch. Yeah, this bridge is the... From this entrance. If that makes sense. There's those horrible butterflies that we can't, can't grab because they can fly. I think you're so clever. And then we were looking... Over that way. Somewhere. Still can't get up on top of there. Can't figure that out. That is... The Lakeside Crystal Cove. Return to the... Table here. Looks like the Miracle guy is gone. Not exactly Miracles, but... That guy. He's gone. Let's see if we can go talk to... Sir Gideon, then. She did not seem to think very highly of him. Here we are. Uh, you. What is it? About the secret medallions. Also, I have Silvis's poison potion. You want to look at that? You should probably look at that. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Lascia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Okay, we did that. We're talking about Nephilim here. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. What do you think about this potion? Is that potion what I think it is? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of, but I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Hmm. He did seem very strange. But do I trust him more? <laughs> but he's also part of the other group. And if we mess with him, we might get kicked out of that group. I'm... It seems like a branching path kind of area. I want to go explore the underground with the wolf guy. So I'm going to keep the potion for now. Well, I won't force you, but I think your plan would be a dreadful waste. She's not herself right now, and though I have no need of her, she still has potential. Certainly more value than she'd have as a bloody puppet. Okay, there's some, there's some more information. It's a puppet potion and they're targeting hmm. we will think about that after we find her outside again because we don't seem to be able to give her the potion while she's here A problem for later, I suppose. Or maybe we had to talk to him first. You wouldn't think you would need to, but who knows. So we're just going to ignore all that and head back out here. Back into the lake. Okay. 
Let's get all these guys out here in the lake. We explored around the ruins here, effectively. I'm gonna go see if there's anything out in the lake proper to the side here. At least. Where are these weirdos? Bit of ruins. We've already been here. Since it's not actually in the lake, we've already been. Alright, we got another lobster thing. Ow. Blood loss in there. Could be worse. White flesh. Seems like the. Let's see, here might just be. It's mistier here. Possible. Doesn't seem to be a huge amount more going on right here. We'll head back north. I can, like get up to the bridge here. All right. Is that the bridge? Not. Just riding through the lake. Looking around. It's a very large lake. Oh boy, we got a dragonfly. Always a good time when you have a dragonfly. A spirit spring. We got a temple area covered in these guys. Ah. Damaging poison. Unfortunate that I didn't fly up the steps there. Get out of here. Got a statue and an item. This is nothing stone. Three smithing stones. That, that's okay. I'll take that. So to deal with a pile of poison, guys. That's okay. They're not exactly threatening, are they? Not like that bear up there. Now that now that's a threat. We're going to avoid that, shall we? <laughs> These little poison guys really do love their legs, don't they?
sit down. Sit down, you big... Whatever you are. He died on top of this tree. But we got it. Strip a white flash. Here's the bridge area. Well, used to be a bridge. That's just a bit of a mess. And we got these guys. Well, that was dealt with. Well, let's give this a bit of lightning spear. Golden ring. Very good. Another lobster thing over here. We can probably avoid messing with these. Doesn't seem super necessary. Nimble sword ahead, therefore likely strong foe. Some guys over there. Look around in the lake here. I am I am just absolutely waiting for a part of this lake to be deep and we're just gonna fall to our deaths. Ah oh, boy, we've angered lobster thing. Blood loss seems to help a bit with these. Still takes quite a few hits, though. We have in this spot. Three smithing stone threes. It's actually not bad. That is the one we were the lowest on right now. That gives us some options. Pedestal here. Okay. So we head south from here. We will get to a lookout. Ready. Ah! Hi. Large. The step on me is very rude. We get flasks back from every fight against those guys, though, so that's helpful. Yeah, if we go straight south from here, we fight that one. So. Let's not do that. Got a lot of these in here. Fighting two of these at once, I think, would still be problematic. So let's try not doing that. Take care of that rider. No problem. Avoid that magic. Grab a great violet. We need the telescoping and just look at everything from on top of a big rock. <laughs> you want ruin fragments? We got ruin fragments. My goodness. And some sanctuary stones. So we can see from here. There's the castle. Bridge is over that way. 
an island over here with a land octopus that's partially in the water. Building over there. Go take out this octopus. Still missing the critical attacks on these guys. I think it healed itself. Well, we unhealed itself. There we go. And fish it off. With a strong attack. We got this island here. Looks like it's got a sight of grace. I'll take that. Some blood roses. And a fire. I got a merchant here. Or patches. Well, patches is a merchant. That counts. Oh hey there. Oh well. It, it's been a long while. It's me. Patches the untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier. So I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. Interesting. See if he actually has any new items. He still has infinite supply of fan daggers. He's selling some festering bloody fingers and an S stock and some ballista bolts, and great arrows. I can afford all this. Just Keep him nice and sold out. So he still has an infinite number of the fan daggers and glass shards. That's a different infinite supply than a lot of the other merchants have. Everything else, though, is at zero. Looks like he has all of his supplies and items that he sold from back at the old location. So if you still have things you need to buy, you can buy them here. Speaking of... By the of, way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? Right. She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but... If she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Not sure if we've met Raya. But okay. You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Yep. Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It's transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> I don't believe that, but sure. Oh yeah, great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, and I heard. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Cheers for that. Well, we got some extra stuff and a set of grace here, so I will take it. Rest here. Okay. Let's 
see some stuff over there. It's very rainy right now. So I can't see too much. There's a land octopus. I kind of just want to go this way to get to... And I guess we want it to not be raining. If we're going to be looking through... The telescope. See if we can pass time. See that stops the rain. Not really. Not really. See if we at least find the telescope here. There it is. Right out here in the water. What a, what a normal location to have that. Looks like there used to be a road or a path here or something. There's somebody. Hello. 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 Please. Over here. Hello. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian, and now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only, he too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Who was it? Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Okay. I think we saw a house nearby. We could even go and use the telescope. Show us where it might be. It's probably right there. Bird's eye telescope. Oh yeah. Very hard to see anything. Look to... There's patches. Yeah, every, everything's just covered in fog. It's... Less, less than helpful. Thank you, telescope. You're trying, and I, I can appreciate that, still. Magics really do make it interesting. I mean, to dodge around. Just the way they come at you. These guys, though. So many of them. Find these islands on the map here. Some more demi human guys. Not putting up much of a fight. There's a lot of them. Unfortunately, they're using the everybody attack one at a time strategy. So, 
That didn't get them very far. My shards, strings. These seem to be the only guys that have like strings, so. Get some more strings is nice. In case you ever use some um, string grease. I'll shoot my head. Alright, dragonfly. Where you at? It looks to be this island cleared, at least. Avoid hitting the turtle. Can't be having that. Various some bits and bobs. Not a very large island. That's okay. Now we're getting close to the shore over on this side. And here's an even smaller island. Not much here. Okay. And we have a forest over this way. There's any more of those Weird magic guys in here. Seems to be mostly fine. There's somebody. Oh, there's the fire guys. Fire guys out in the water. Who would have thought? Ah. Yeah. Torrent was the wrong choice for that. Look at him being all proud. When you're a big mace. Alright, that's fine. <whistles> Alright, big death. Let's not jump down that way. Seems like a poor choice. Let's run over here, pick up our runes, and continue on our way. I want to go check out the ruffian in the nearby house. Snails got their magic from the crystals. Noted. Nope, no magic snails. Not allowed. Covering fireflies, which are also magic. Let's over here smashing the crystals. Okay. There's the fire guys over there. We we're just a walking disaster for crystals. Another smaller island. Nothing really here. Okay. So I'm gonna head. Let's go to this larger island this way, and then we can head to the house area. And look out for any crustaceans.
this is yeah. You got some of these. Here's the Arbiter V2s. Hey guys. How's it going? You're very odd. That's okay. the weapon that they were using. Look at that. It's like a club, but curvier. Hard, curved club, shaped like a crescent moon. Wielded instead of a curved sword by Auburn Eric's lacking dexterity. The only point of similarity between the two is the shape. It has barbaric roar. Not a very high requirement. But it does have a little bit of dex scaling. Dragonfly. Interesting. Dexterity not crystal tier. Okay. Temporary boosts dexterity in mixed physic. That's interesting. We have the strength boosting. So we could go with dexterity boosting instead of stamina regeneration. Look at our weapon here. It does have some boost from... It's got actually a decent amount of boost from Dexterity. So that might just be straight up better than the strength boosting. For our current setup. So that's an interesting option. That seems to be what was here on this island. Which is fair. Another option for the... Here we go. And there's even a set of grace here. Boil Prawn Shack. He's boiling the prawns. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? You have a necklace that doesn't belong to you. Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. That's fine. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing, neither. The Blackguard. He has Rise Necklace, stolen by a Blackguard, for 1,000 runes. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I can afford 1,000 runes. That's not a huge deal. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. An infinite supply of boiled prawns at 600 runes each. Boost physical damage negation for a time. Honestly, I will take some. Sounds great.
You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between? Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over with it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Interesting. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well. Sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Hmm. It has infinite prawns. Okay. Never met someone with a taste for prawn or couldn't trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. New. Spread out. Just lie on the ground. Amazing. America's tits. You must be hungry. More prawns. Amazing. America's tits. Shush, 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 shush. I'm trying to read messages. Gaster ahead. The vision's a friend. Ah, prawn. Behold, prawn. Yet again, we have one of these houses that you can't actually go inside. Monster house. There we go. That's okay. Well, let's get that necklace back. To the person that wanted it. Scenic Isle of Patches. Raya the Scout. Line this up right. Head straight over there. It's not raining anymore. So maybe we have. I mean, it's, it's still really misty though. I don't think we're gonna get too much out of the telescope. should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. There you go. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Volcano Manor Invitation. Brave Tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most Tarnished, are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Interesting. I think she assumes that we killed the prawn guy and all we did was buy her necklace back oh and one more thing only for you this land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the grand lift of Dectus beyond the high road but the lift has been defunct for an age meaning there's no simple means of passage Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old... It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. 
I do hope that we can meet again. Yeah, we already found the cave that goes up to the top. It's very convenient. They all, the, the whole fancy lift, we just completely ignore it. Seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, it was excavated. I have faith in I do hope. Okay. There's that taken care of. Let's go talk to Patches again. Since he had some dialogue about Raya there. And now that's all been sorted. Hello again. Welcome to Patches Emporium. Oh yeah. There's a surviving and I... Oh. <laughs> Cheers for that. Very good. Okay. Exploring around. Basically the lower section here of the lake. I think we're going to continue not going to the main road connecting anything. We're just going to keep looking around the outskirts. There's plenty more of these pedestal locations. Larger islands. All around the area. There's still plenty to check out. Next time. Goodbye.